But you did agree to modify this to put that clause in. The alternative was losing, in my view, the entire section on executive excessive compensation. Given the choice, uh, this is not an uncommon occurrence here, I agreed to a modification uh, in the legislation reluctantly. I wasn't negotiating with myself here. I wasn't changing my own amendment. I was changing the amendment because others were insisting upon okay, it. Okay, I'm going to toss it over to Wolf. I know he has questions. All right, yeah. uh, Senator Dana, thank you. Uh, but, but, Senator, I, I think a lot of our viewers remain uh, still a little bit confused. Sure. Some of them pretty confused. What I want to play for you, I want to give you a chance to clarify precisely what's going on. This is what you told our congressional producer, Ted Barrett, only yesterday. Listen to this. That there's the suggestion today being made that you receive more money from AIG than any other senator mm -hmm. and that you were responsible for the February 11th 2009 date mm -hmm. and so I just you know again I just want to get at the no. fact that you're saying you, you had nothing to do with absolutely that date, no. and, and there was nothing you were doing that was aimed at protecting no. AIG in not at all not in the slightest absolutely which is in your which has offices this particular office in the state of Connecticut well it does but the office but the point is when that language left the Senate that I wrote that was not included all right, that was what you said yesterday, Senator. Right. So go ahead and explain a little bit more precisely well, what changed from yesterday to today. Well, going back and reviewing, obviously, and looking at it. But the point I want to make to you, Wolf, is, again, I would have preferred we kept my language as it left the Senate unanimously. In fact, there were objections when I wrote the language even before it left the Senate. I didn't negotiate with myself uh, with this amendment. I wasn't trying to change it on my own, obviously, as been pointed, pointed out by Dana. Uh, you had the administration had expressed reservations about the amendment. They came to us and asked for modifications in the amendment. The alternative was, of course, losing the amendment entirely, which was a possibility. No, so. Well, so just to be precise, what we're talking about is a mysterious loophole that was inserted at the last minute uh, at, that allowed these bonuses in effect. Now these bonuses, $165 million, to go forward. What I hear you saying is that you personally, you did this in order uh, at the request of officials at the Treasury Department, uh, okay, Timothy yeah. Geithner, among others. Well, I didn't say who was, but I but just say this. I wouldn't have, wouldn't have modified my own amendment, uh, my own insistence. I mean, I'd spent a long time to having people try to be change it, and obviously they came, and the alternative was losing the amendment, and I, uh, and I didn't think we should do that at all. Who asked you at the Treasury Department to do it? Well, there were people obviously coming negotiating with the staffs back and forth, and I don't know their names specifically. Uh, it was at a staff level people were talking about it. So, it, but it wasn't just your members of your own staff at the Senate Banking Committee who did this. You personally knew about it at the time. Is that right? No, I, I didn't know the, the exact details. I know they were coming with modifications to it and whether or not we'd accept some. And again, the feeling we had, Wolf, on all of this, remember the Wyden Snow Amendment got dropped entirely dealing with the tax provisions. There were people who thought these provisions were unnecessary and unwarranted in the stimulus bill. Uh, we thought they were important, and that's why we wrote the legislation. That's why we insisted upon a vote. On it, I spoke on it on the floor of the Senate, uh, the importance of it, and it was adopted unanimously by the Senate when it got into conference between the House and the Senate. That's where people stepped back up and sought modifications to it. And we agreed to go along with those at the time, given the alternative.